said, so also, I'm going to go from soft speaking back to whispering, and let me know what you guys think of that. So, um, the full moon is sometimes when people feel like they have a lot of anger, a lot of emotion, um, many people have trouble sleeping, um, suffer from insomnia during the full moon. It can just make you feel extremely anxious and extremely, um, like something is going on with you. And so it's just a high, very high, high, high energy time. So yeah, it's just a time when people can feel just very irritable. Um, they feel like they need to let go of something. Typically during the full moon, many people feel like there's some kind of pain that they need to let go of or they want to they wanna try, um, basically try to start something new. And I don't recommend doing Normally, it's a time that people are not starting anew, they're just letting go. They're letting go of any negativity, they're letting go of anything that is not serving them and making them feel better. So, I thought that this was a perfect time. Um, something that I just love doing is sitting under the moon because it is such, it's such a different energy. Like, you know how they say sunbathing. Um, so yes, you sunbathe, you know, they say soak up the vitamin it'll make you feel better that's the same way with the moon you you are able to moon bathe is what they call it and essentially you are taking in that energy and you are letting go of any pain anything that is not serving you and the full moon is a perfect opportunity to do that and really just collect all of the energy in your body and let out any negative and build all of the positive and really manifest things for yourself so i figured why don't we do that tonight? Um, this is my first ever video that I have done like this, so please give me feedback. Um, I do just want to preface, I am not a professional with any energy work, I am not an energy healer, I am simply just someone that is fascinated by the art of energy work and energy healing, and so I am here today to try and bring a little bit of energy work and energy healing today. Um, I have been out here under the moon. I've been cleansing my own aura, so my aura is cleansed. I am cleansed. I will not be bringing any negative to you. So without further ado, now that you understand a little bit about the full moon and what the full moon represents, we are going to go ahead and get into the little session for tonight under our October 2020 full moon. And basically, I will tell you a bit of what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start off with um, setting an intention. And tonight, I'll be setting an intention using oil instead of a candle because I will be using my candle later on in the session. So I'm going to use an oil. My nail appointment is tomorrow. This oil is infused with lavender, lavender, pepper, peppermint, and a couple other cloves. It's really good, natural, it's all natural oil, homemade. And so. Just gonna take a little bit of this oil. Rub it all in my hands. I'm gonna place it over you. And we're just gonna set an intention, set an intention for tonight. So for tonight I want to sit down with you under this beautiful energetic full moon i want to help you get rid of anything that is not serving you any pain anything that you want to start anew i want you to let go 
of the past and I want you to manifest good in your life for this next month for however long you would like for that intention and that is the goal of tonight to do a cleansing to cleanse any negative and to manifest all positive energy around us using a beautiful full moon light Okay, so getting a little bit of a feel for your overall aura right now, kind of seeing how you are right now. And how are you? I mean, these are questions that we have to ask ourselves when you are doing something, like trying to sit under the full moon and actually manifest something for yourself. One of the first steps is asking yourself individually, how are you? How are you doing right now? What is something that you feel you are struggling with right now? And then figuring out what you are going to manifest under this moonlight. So, i a little bit about what I'm going to be doing and what I typically do. So, a couple things that I typically do under the moonlight is I always sit out some water. I will take the lid off of the spray bottle. I'll set this water out here so this water can essentially absorb and collect energy and this will be my moon water that's what's in it right now is moon water i also bring out my crystals i have a small crystal collection but you have to start somewhere right so i have three crystals that i charge it is a honey calcite and i'll go more into depth of these in a moment i charge my amethyst stone which i actually will be using tonight and I also wear amethyst around my neck that I do charge under the full moon. And then I charge my smoky quartz. So those are what I charge along with my water. After I go in depth on each stone, which two of them I will be using tonight, um, I will then use some sage and I'm just going to do some aura cleansing around you. Then after I do use the sage, um, we're going to do a little bit of plucking, a little bit of plucking and a little bit of extractions. Um, I will go ahead and use the smoky quartz to help extract. And then after we extract all of that negative energy, I'm going to be using my amethyst to help bring a little bit of positive energy back. Then I'll be using a candle so that we can light the candle and we can officially put out, blow away whatever negative we are feeling really heavy on our hearts, on our soul, right now. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of spraying with my moon water. And yeah, we will we'll call it a session. Sorry guys, let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so first I'm just going to show you a little bit about my stones. So again, this stone is my honey, honey, honey calcite, honey calcite. A little bit about the stone. The stone but I am I do have it out here so that you can charge under the moonlight so the next stone that I will be using like I said to bring some good energy back into at the end of this session is going to be my amethyst which is this beautiful amethyst stone um amethyst is so many so good for honestly so many things um but amethyst really enhances like your natural intuition and your natural spirituality amazing for meditation just overall meditation and with this is a very protective stone and with this really protects your energy which is why i always wear my amethyst my raw amethyst around my neck um so it's very very good um energy protection stone um not only that but it also calms the mind and the spirit um amethyst is said to really help with people who have insomnia Stone. 
that I charged my last stone with my smoky quartz, which this is such a beautiful smoky quartz. I feel like this does not do it justice, but yeah, it's my smoky quartz and this is a really good cleansing and detoxing stone. Um, smoky quartz is used a lot in like healing sessions, um, detoxing sessions for people, um, whether that be detoxing a person, energy, anything from your life. Um, it has a higher potential very good stone if you're someone that is trying to move past any pain in your life um move past any memories and i feel like amethyst is like that fine line between holding a grudge and like self like preservation so if you're trying to get over something in your life that you no longer want to hold on to as a grudge or anything like that i feel like amethyst is the perfect 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 stone for that and also guys my air conditioning kicked on so so sorry if you're hearing my air conditioning in the back it's pretty loud outside when it comes on so gotta work with what we have right okay so those are the three stones that i'm I tar that i typically charge out here so before we light our sage i really just want to take a couple of deep breaths and slow down um life can be so busy especially this year this year has been just a lot on a lot of people um myself included and i it can be all over the place sometimes watching asmr videos like this really just helps me to take a step back and ground myself so that's what we're gonna do so i just want you to sit however you feel comfortable however you feel um makes you feel just grounded um for me it is sitting cross-legged so that's what i'm gonna do right I just want you to take three really deep breaths with me, okay? And I'll walk you through it. So, we're going to go ahead and breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. And breathe in. In through your belly. Hold. And breathe out. And one more time. I want you to really breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Okay. So now that we've done a couple nice deep breaths just to ground ourselves and just calm down, get in the space. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to light my sage and just go ahead and start really working that energy, really just starting to clear any energy that is there before I do go ahead and I take my smoky quartz and begin doing a little bit of extraction. So I do have my sage stick. This is a fresh sage stick. I felt like it was fitting for the new moon. while my sage burns we're just going about your aura right now okay really just trying to clear up anything that might be lingering over you anything that is not serving You know, sometimes in life we we hold on to things that we know are not good for us and I'm very guilty of that and you know, just letting people, letting things that we know we don't need in our life.
we just dwell over those things and a lot of people can think I'm crazy since I've gotten into kind of energy work but I truly feel like we are all made up of energy and really not being afraid to like dive into the different energies that people carry and and just learning about it it's it's something I feel like more people need to do okay so we are just gonna continue to let this sage kind of just burn while we continue on now that we've just cleared up a little bit around your body um, I want to go ahead and again I want to take my smoky quartz and just do a little bit of scanning so we're going to start here from the top of you and work all the way down through your chakras okay so we'll start Doing some overall scanning. And we are just seeing what parts of you need worked on the most. And while this part is happening, I just want you to take, take a couple of deep breaths and really just close your eyes, or they can be open, whatever. Whatever, whatever serves you best, whatever you're feeling really comfortable with. By the way, um, I'm in like perfect respect and perfect comfort to you. I am not touching you. I'm simply just kind of fanning your overall aura. So I just want to mention that. <laughs> just really focus on some things that you do want to get rid of tonight throughout this session. done a little bit of body scanning um, we've gotten the sage we've gotten a little bit of the scanning using the quartz so I do want to start doing a little bit of plucking on you there are some things that I feel like you're really holding on to and I, I just want to want to pluck so we're just we're just simply gonna just gonna pluck and pluck. so we're going to pluck and then flick it away flick that energy out out away from us okay so we're gonna just Flicking it all away, get rid of it all. Okay. Now, what I want to do next is I'm going to take this incense candle. This is a rose water and an um, ivy candle, if I'm not mistaken. So I do just want to take this rose water and the ivy candle. 
I want to do is I want to light this candle and as I'm lighting it I want you to really focus on something that you want to get rid of right now something that has not been serving you something that it could be a bad habit it could even be a person you can manifest getting rid of anything if you truly truly put your mind to it okay so with this candle i'm also i'm gonna say mine i'm gonna share mine with you so i have been having a lot of self-doubt lately in regards to pretty much all aspects of my life right so i've been having a lot of self-doubt and so i want you to tell me and tell yourself and tell the world and just tell the energy what you want to get rid of tonight okay and mine is self-doubt all right and once you have it we're going to blow out this candle blowing away that self-doubt for me whatever you're holding on to that you want to get rid of you're gonna blow out this candle and you're gonna blow it away all right so in three two one have gotten rid of all the bad energy that you just having in your heart and you're feeling we blew away whatever you want to get rid of one of the next things that I do is I like to try and really soak up any any energy that is still left which I can promise you there's so much energy under this beautiful full moon so I just want you to really take in the energy from the moon, okay? And while you're doing that, I'm going to be taking my amethyst. And I'm just going to be running this over your auras, okay? This amethyst is going to bring back all of that grounding, positive energy to you. It's going to really ground you. It's going to protect the positive and a good energy now that we've gotten rid of all of that negative it's going to really store that positive energy in you okay and so we are just scanning over you just giving this full moon amethyst energy to you feel like whatever you find in this world that gives you peace and gives you like genuine comfort is worth at least exploring and that's kind of how I feel when it comes to energy work I feel like if it gives me peace because it does it's worth at least exploring and at least looking into so beautiful stone so my this is probably my favorite stone okay next I'm gonna take a little bit of my water and just spritz and spray so just really making sure we get this water And then I do have a little bit of stress relief lotion. It has eucalyptus in it, spearmint oil. Really soothes and uplifts and clears the mind.
And I just want to do one last scan of you. One last scan. And I really just want to send you so much love and so much hope positive energy and clarity in your life and I really hope that this session helped you I hope that it gave you ideas of what you could do under the moon to serve your higher power and just serve you and give back to yourself because we take so much from ourselves and it, we don't we take so much and we forget to give back right so times like this when we have so much energy to work with that we really need to make sure that we're giving really giving back to ourselves okay okay so thank you so much if you did make it to the end of this video and you bared with I, I knew it was going to be hard, but I really wanted to try and do this under the moonlight. So I'm just going to leave you with one last glimpse of the moon. Really allow you to absorb that last little bit of moonlight. And please let me know if this video was helpful. And if you would like more content like this. So, all right. Always make sure you're keeping your energy positive.